This is bad. What's up, my name is Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, I want us to talk about ticket symbol WKHS, Workhorse. Again, this is a company that I cover here on the channel. I told you guys why I was interested in the company and I gave you guys my reasons and why I was skeptical again about the company long term uh, because of the fact that they were really relying a lot on their potential contract with uh, USPS. So the contract came out and they didn't get it. So we're gonna talk about that today and talk about some price predictions and what to do now. But before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, we've actually covered Workhorse here on the channel um, several times. I made several videos explain to you guys why I thought Workhorse was a good buy at some point in did some more research, came back and told you guys why I was skeptical about the company. And um, most recently, the stock started making some good moves. And I, I was looking at like thinking like the Biden administration was going to come in and maybe even help them or give them part of the contract. But boy, that didn't happen. Like they completely missed on this one and so if we can take a quick look here at the news with this is cnbc uh workhorse group drops nearly 50 percent after ev company is passed over uh usps contract so this is really bad i felt bad for this for this particular stock so let's, let's look at the chart here you guys can see so this is the stock um trading right here when we had our you no know, pullback this morning at 8 um 30 when the market opened a uh, little pullback to 24 dollars and some change and then kind of stayed relatively quiet there um uh, and i don't know if this is um the comp if people in the company knew that this was going to happen and so they probably went and made sure that they had some stop losses to secure some profit i don't know what happened there but um, again, look right here at about 2 p.m. Central Time. The news came out and look at that thing just dropped like a bag of potatoes. Um, and it went down to under $12, which is kind of crazy, guys, um, before even squeezing up back again. And then right now sitting at about $15 and some change. This is terrible. I mean, I know this company is going to recover some, but just this fact that they will pass over for this deal, it's a really bad thing for the company. Um, it's going to take them a little bit before they can recover. I mean, the, the company still has a good business model. Um, they have good products. They, they, I mean, the trucks that they're building, these delivery vans that they're building, uh, all electric are still there. But missing out on a huge contract like this is really insane. Um, I don't really wish that on anybody. So this, the company that actually got the, got the contract is Oshkosh. So if you can see this, uh, the base out of Wisconsin, they, if you can see the, the complete opposite of what happened to Workhorse um, happened to Oshkosh. So if you see here, this is around two when the news came out right there. Look at that squeeze, first squeeze all the way to about $17 and then had that little pullback after hours, it just kept going. It actually went and tested 124, right there, almost 125 before pulling back and sitting somewhere at about $17 and some change um, right now, guys. So that's the company that got the contract. Um, so what do we do with workers at this point? Um, I mean, to me, I was looking at this. If this thing, I was hoping that it came down to about 10 bucks. If this stock had dropped to 10 bucks, I, I would have jumped right in because again, the company is a, it's a solid company. They, they they don't only build electric vehicles, but they also have technology. So they, they've developed a, a cloud-based real-time telematics performance monitoring system. So that is uh, part of that technology. So they have an underlying business, but just to be slammed in the face like this, it gives me and you, uh, investors an opportunity to get into the stock but overall long term now i don't see this company uh the same way i used to look at the company um i'm gonna i'm gonna trade it i'm gonna see if i see an opportunity i'm gonna go in there but uh, long term i'm not really gonna focus on buying this and holding over time i might swing trade it and that's about it uh workhorse 
Um, it was nice. You guys did your best, but didn't get the contract. So I'm gonna move on to some other bigger and better companies. Again, guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Workhorse is completely dead. Workhorse is still gonna have some business, but am I gonna put them at that same level? Because the contract that they missed out on was a 10 year contract. Can you imagine that you have a 10 year contract? It means for 10 years, you have money coming in that's guaranteed from the government. I mean, you, dude, you can't, you, you just can't miss that kind of opportunity. If you miss it, um, too bad for you. So um, my price projection right now, you probably see workhorse, um, maybe go test 20, 25 at some point, but not anytime soon. It's not gonna move back uh, that quick because prior to the anticipation for this merger, if you can see here, I mean, they went as high as 43 or $44 before this happens and then pulled them back down. So that was people anticipating that they were gonna get that contract. Now that they don't have any major um, catalyst in the pipeline, what's gonna drive the stock up to $40, $50? It's gonna be revenue. And if you don't have to, it's like revenue that people are looking for, and then this thing is probably gonna stay around that $25 price point for a long time before making a move up. So again, that's my personal projection. They might come up with some new products, who knows? I don't, again, I'm just looking at what I see right now in front of me. So so it was a sad day for workers in the market. Um, stock dropped over 50%. And so where do we go from here? Personally, I'm not gonna consider Workhorse again like one of the top players in this space. They're just another EV company that's out there. If they had gotten this contract, that would have given me some really good um, security to invest in the company. But right now, I'm just gonna swing trade the thing and that's about it. I'm not gonna buy this thing and hold it long term. I know people that are bullish on it, but I mean, you can't win them all. So this one is one that I'm gonna let go. Um, and that's it. Um, yeah, I, I feel bad, but hey, it's just the nature of business. I wish they had split the contract 50-50, and that would mean two companies take to get the contract five years of, uh, uh, five years each to get the, the delivery vans out there, but that never happened. So that's my personal take here. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Are you still holding Workhorse? Do you plan on buying more, or are you done with Workhorse? Again, let me know in the comment section if you're new to the channel. We talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Webo has a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get four free stocks, links in the description. And as always, do your due diligence, don't be a greedy savage, stay motivated.